الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا وحبيبنا وشفيعنا ومطاعنا محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فقد قال الله تعالى في القران المجيد والفرقان الحميد اعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم من كان يريد العاجل تعجلنا له فيها ما نشاء لمن نريد ثم جعلنا له جهنم يصلاها مذموما مدحورا صدق الله العظيم وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وان في الجسد لمضغه اذا صلحت صلح الجسد كله وإذا فسدت فسد الجسد كله ألا وهي القلب ألا وهي القلب ألا وهي القلب أو كما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم Respected ulama ikram elders beloved brothers in Islam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has conditioned every human being with what we call the aspiration ambition goal desire to become successful if you look throughout the world the goal and objective of all the effort that is taking place whether it is commercial whether it is agricultural whether it is educational volumes and volumes have been written there are books how to become successful how to achieve how to gain prominence how to become famous every human being primarily within him there is this drive i want to become successful i want to be saved from being a failure this is a burning question and this is a primary objective of every human being in this world attain success and be saved from failure the problem is what is success who can be considered to be successful one is that view of success that is purported through the schools through the universities that is put forward through the media that this batil propaganda machinery around us 24 hours of every day is espousing a certain message who is successful who is fail who has who is a failure if you have to analyze this the concept or idea of success that is being put forward everything is directed to that which is superficial that which is on the outside the entire classification of society has become this who is a very successful person a person with a very big bank balance who is middle class somebody who is a middle class income earner who is low class who society doesn't give a second glance to like if you look in a third world country maybe somebody riding on a rickshaw or somebody who doesn't have a roof over his head or is a vagabond somebody who has minimal worldly possessions this is regarded as a low class individual vip tip top high income high earner low class somebody who has minimal possessions of this world like the poet puts it yamshi al faqir wa kullu shay'in dhiddu يمشي الفقير وكل شيء ضده تراه مبغضا وليس بمذنب the poor man walks and the whole world is against him no one takes him seriously no one gives any value to what he has to say he sees the hatred on your face he sees the dislike he sees the manner in which you scoff at him 
But he has not committed any crime. Yara al adawata wala yara asbabaha. He sees the hatred, he sees the lack of respect. But he does not know the cause, why. The verse of the Quran which I recited in the beginning. Allah calls out, Man kana yuridu al-ajila, those who desire the wealth of this world, those who desire prominence and status and achievement and the material things of this world, know and understand, rich, poor, this has nothing to do with your intelligence. This has nothing to do with your business acumen. This is not a biological accident which home or which family you were born in. Rich or poor, the distribution of the wealth of this world, ajalna lahu fiha. Allah says, it is our decision, we distribute wealth. Ma nasha'u liman nureed. Ma nasha'u liman nureed. As much as we want, to whom we want. Someone is poor, it's not his fault, it is Allah's distribution. Someone is rich, it's not his achievement, it is Allah's distribution. يَبْسُطُ الرِّزْقَ لِمَنْ يَشَاءُ وَيَقْدِرُ Allah says, we distribute wealth. And we give poverty and hardship to whom we want. This is in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's control. تَرَاهُ مُبْغِذًا وَلَيْسَ بِمُذْنِبٍ يَرَى الْعَدَاوَةَ وَلَا يَرَى أَسْبَابَهَا This poor man sees the enmity, he sees the hatred, he doesn't know the cause. And then the poet goes on quite crudely. And what does he say? حَتَّى أَنَّ الْكِلَابَ إِذَا رَأَدْ ذَا ثَرْوَةٍ خَذَعَتْ لَدَيْهِ وَحَرَّكَتْ أَذْنَابَهَا وَإِذَا رَأَتْ يَوْمًا فَقِيرًا غَابِرًا نَبَحَتْ عَلَيْهِ وَقَشَّرَتْ أَنْيَابَهَا This mentality of the classification of society, of the acknowledgement of respect and achievement on the basis of that which is external, on the basis of the distribution of wealth, has even transferred itself to the animals. So that when a dog sees a rich man, it wags its tail and it stretches out its poor paws. And when he sees a vagabond or a poor person, it starts barking at him and chasing at him. So this, what the poet is actually trying to say is that this type of mentality is in fact the mentality of a dog. Insan ke qeemat andar ke sarmaya se bante hai, bahar ke sarmaya se nahi bante hai. If you look into Quran and Hadith, if you look at that eternal message which can never be changed, that has reached us from the arsh of Allah, through the agency of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what does Quran and Hadith teach us? How rich you are, how big a house you live in, how fancy a suit you are wearing, how prominent or, or recognize your status or position in society is, by the qasam of my Allah, has nothing to do with success. What is success? وَرِذْوَانٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرٌ وَرِذْوَانٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرٌ ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْفَوْزُ الْعَظِيمُ Allah become happy with you. Make Allah happy with you. Make Allah the goal. Whether you are living in a hut or whether you are living in a palace, whether you have one zero to your bank balance or a hundred zeros to your bank balance, if you have found Allah, لَيْتَكَ تَخْلُو وَالْحَيَاةُ مَرِيرَةٌ وَلَيْتَكَ تَرْضَى وَالْأَنَامُ غِضَابُ وَلَيْتَ الَّذِي بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَكَ خَرَابُ وَبَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ الْعَبْدُ وَلَيْتَ الَّذِي بَيْنِي وَبَيْنَكَ عَامِرُ وَبَيْنِي وَبَيْنَ الْعَالَمِينَ خَرَابُ إِذَا صَحَّ مِنْكَ الْوُدُّ فَكُلٌّ هَيِّنٌ وَكُلُّ الَّذِي فَوْقَ التُّرَابِ تُرَابُ O oh my Allah, if you are happy with me, leave this world in that condition that Allah is happy with you. And wallah, my respected brothers, there is no greater success, there is no greater day, there is no more happier day than the day of your departure from this world. And like you take a one and put one zero in front of it, it becomes ten. Put another zero in front of it, it becomes a hundred. Put another zero in front of it, becomes thousand. And carry on putting zeros each time exponentially. 
this number will increase and increase and increase. But the one has to be there. The one has to be there. Take the one out. And all those zeros become zero. Degrees of this world, wealth of this world, prominence of this world, status of this world, achievement of this world. The whole world looks up to you. Layta ladhi baini wa baynaka amiru. But if your relationship with Allah is not established, if Allah is not happy with you, if the goal and objective of your life has not been to find Allah, then my respected brothers, by the qasam of my Allah, that car, that home, that possession, those investments, everything in reality is zero. You are living bankrupt. There is no worse day. There is no greater loss than the day of your departure from this world if you have not found Allah. For come out of this deception of this superficial society that we are living in. Success, achievement has nothing to do with the material things of this world. Success, achievement is not that which is external. Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Bukhari Sharif Hadith mentioned in Muslim Sharif also. Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What a beautiful analogy and example. Through that a message is being given. Don't be deceived by that which is apparent. My Nabi said, لَمْ يَتَكَلَّمْ فِي الْمَهْدِ إِلَّا ثَلَاثَةٌ He said three, only three children spoke in the cradle. Three babies. Allah gave them the ability to speak from the cradle. One was Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam. We know the famous incident of Isa alayhi salam. The other sahibu Juraj. Incident of Juraj. Time is limited. I'm not going into that. Not pertinent to our discussion. The third, Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a mother was traveling. She had her suckling baby with her. She was breastfeeding the child whilst traveling. All of a sudden, marra bi rajulin ala dabbatin farihatin wa sharatin hasana. A person passed. Priceless animal. Wearing priceless clothing. A man of prominence, a man of wealth, call it a king, call it a ruler, with his entourage, people at his beck and call, he passes by. When this mother sees this, from the heart, while she is breastfeeding that child, dua comes out, Allahumma ja'alli, Allahumma ja'al ibni mithla, oh Allah make my child like this person. Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, when this child heard this, it stopped suckling. Nazara ilayhi looked at the man. And then from the cradle, suckling baby, responds to the dua of his mother, Allahumma la taj'alli mithla. O Allah, don't accept this dua of my mother. O Allah, don't accept this dua of my mother. Don't make me like this person. Then the child continues suckling. The narrator of the hadith, to this extent, my Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam wanted to draw the attention of Sahaba to the importance of this message. What is success? What is failure? Don't be deceived. Don't be deceived. This is Firauni mentality. What is outward? Firaun mocked at Musa Alaihi Salam. Quran tells us. Refused to accept, refused to take seriously Musa Alaihi Salam. Firaun! The greatest enemy of Allah, the one who said, Ana Rabbukumul Allah. What was his psychology? What was his thinking? Alaysali mulku misr, wahadi ilanhar, tajri min tahti, afala tubsirum, am ana khair, minha dalladi huwa maheen, wala yakadu yubin, falaula ulki ali asuratum min zahabin omahul malaikatul mukhtarinin. Quran describes this mentality. Respect, honor, status, taking someone seriously because he's very, living in a fancy home or he's got a big balance, bank balance or he's got wealth at his disposal. Firaun said this, I've got the palace, I've got the rivers, I've got the stream, I've got this kingdom, I've got all this at my disposal. Am ana khair min huwa maheen wala yakadu yubeen. The word maheen, I don't even want to translate it, referring to this great Nabi of Allah. Firaun says, are you going to 
are you going to consider me to be inferior than this poor person who has no means, he has no status, society won't give him a second glance. This mentality was Firauni mentality. Maheen, the word comes from Ahana Yuheen, disgraced, downtrodden, poor, looked down upon. This was Firauni analogy of Musa alayhi salam. Yet who is Musa alayhi salam? Musa alayhi salam is that personality. There is no Nabi that is mentioned in the Quran more than Musa alayhi salam. Musa, 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 throughout the Quran, ulama have enumerated up to 177 times. 28 Jews of the Quran mention of Musa alayhi salam. Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, when humanity will rise up on the day of judgment, I will be the first to rise up. I will run towards the arsh of Allah. Before me I will have seen that Musa alayhi salam is leaning against one of the pillars of the arsh. This was a fazilat of Musa alayhi salam. Musa alayhi salam, that personality who Allah summoned to Kohetur, and Allah spoke directly to him. Not just spoke to him. Qarrabnahu najiyya. Qarrabnahu najiyya. Sargoshi. Allah whispered with him. Qarrabnahu. Indication of great love and affection for Musa alayhi salam. Yet, what was Firaun's psychology? Hadha alladhi huwa maheen. Wala yakadu yubeen. Can't even speak properly. Can't even speak, can't even articulate himself properly. A poor man, so look down upon him. I have the kingdom, I have the wealth, look up at me. This superficial mentality, this concept or idea that this is success, degrees of this world, status of this world, amenities of this world, position of this world, at the expense of your relationship with Allah, this is a trap. This is the trap of this world. This is the trap of the zenith and attraction of this world. We are not an ummah that is motivated by that which is superficial. Coming back to this incident, Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Sahabi describes it like this, the importance of this issue. What is success? What is failure? He says, my Nabi took his Sababa, that is his index finger, put it into his mouth to display the suckling of the child, that this is a little baby suckling at the breast of its mother. This child continued suckling. Summa marru, then they passed by, bijariyatin, a woman, she was running, people were chasing her, they were throwing stones at her, they were beating her. وَهُمْ يَقُولُونَ زَنَيْتِ وَسَرَقْتِ They were accusing her of, be, of committing zina, of being a fornicator. They were accusing her of being a thief. وَهِيَ تَقُولُ And she was saying, حَسْبِي اللَّهِ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ حَسْبِي اللَّهِ وَنِعْمَ الْوَكِيلِ May Allah is sufficient for me. May Allah is the best of protectors. That was her response. This was their claim. She was running. They were beating her. When this mother sees this manzar and scene, Allahumma la taj'al ibni mithla. Oh Allah, don't make my son like this. Don't make my son like this woman. Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, again the child stopped suckling. Looked up at this woman. And then looked towards the heavens. Allahumma ja'alni mithlaha. O Allah, don't accept this dua of my mother also. Make me like this woman. Make me like this woman. Then Nabi Apaq wasallam says, this mother is shocked. How is the suckling baby speaking? And speaking like this. So the mother addresses the child. That, oh my child, when that rich, wealthy king passed, I made dua to Allah. That Allah make you like him. And when this woman that was being accused like that passed, I made dua to my Allah, that Allah protect my child from becoming like this. Why did you respond like that? The child says that, oh my mother, you don't know that king is a zalim. 
that king is a kafir, that king has broken off his relationship with Allah, he is doomed to Jahannam. This is why I made dua to Allah, that oh Allah do not make me like him. As for that woman, those crimes that they had accused her of, she had not committed, she was innocent, she was a waliya, her connection with, had been established with Allah. Oh my mother, do not be deceived by that which is apparent. I made dua to Allah on the basis of the connection of that woman with Allah, that oh Allah make me like her. We are living, unfortunately, my respected brothers, in a superficial world. When Quran, when Quran, when the kalam of my Allah, and what, when the kalam of my Allah speaks of success, what does Allah tell us? What does Allah tell us? فَمَنْ زُحْزِحَ عَنِ النَّارِ وَأُدْخِلَ الْجَنَّةَ فَقَدْ فَازِ He who is saved from Jahannam enters into Jannah, فَقَدْ فَازِ he has succeeded. وَمَنْ يُتِعِ اللَّهَ وَالرَّسُولِ فَقَدْ فَازَ فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا The one who obeyed Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he فَوْزًا عَظِيمًا This is the great success. This is the overriding success. فَأَمَّا مَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُهُ فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةِ الرَّاضِيَةِ The one whose scale of deeds are heavy on the day of judgment. فَهُوَ فِي عِيشَةِ he is in an eternal and a happy life. He will never know loss. فَمَنْ ثَقُلَتْ مَوَازِينُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ The one whose scale of deeds are heavy. فَأُولَٰئِكَ هُمُ الْمُفْلِحُونَ This is emphasis upon emphasis. Allah says, He is the successful one. Who are the losers? What is loss? What is... A, what is Failure to attain success, not what society has told us, not future financial planning, not the big house, not the fancy car. What does Quran tell us? What does, how does Allah open up in front of us? We find, my respected brothers, this issue is such a fundamental issue. What is success? What is failure? What is, why? Because the whole endeavor of humanity from the time we are born, we are growing up, we are making an effort to what? To become successful. According to our understanding, what is Allah opens up, this is why we find perhaps on no other topic throughout Quran, Juma is limited, we can't even go into detail. On no other topic throughout Quran is this issue reiterated and reiterated and reiterated. This is success, this is failure, this is success, this is failure. Allah out of his shafaqa, the teachings of Rasul Pak sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sahaba say, Sahal bin Sa'ad, Sa'idi radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, Marra rajulun min al fuqara one day a poor man walks past, Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam turns to Sahaba, ma taquluna fi hadha? Oh my Sahaba, what is your opinion about this person? They said, hadha min al fuqara Ya Rasulullah, he's got no prominence, he's a poor person. Hadha hariyun in khatab Allah yuzawwaj, wa in shafa Allah to shafa. If this man proposes this for someone's daughter, it's very likely the proposal will be rejected. If he intercedes on behalf of someone, no one will take him seriously also. Nabi Islam will remain silent. Then another person passes. Min al-ashraf. In the riwayat it is mentioned, Min al-ashraf. VIP. Prominent. VIP based on what? On the type of clothing he's wearing, on the type of wealth he has, on the social society, on the social status that he enjoys. Based on that, مَا تَقُولُونَ فِي هَذَا My Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam My Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam What was his sight? What was his sight? Not like my and your sight He's reading salah Reading salah In his salah he steps forward I'm cutting the incident short After that sahaba say Ya Rasulullah what happened? You went forward You were clutching at something He says Allah revealed jannat for me in my salah Where is jannat? Jannat is above the seventh heaven where is the Mas- Musalla of Masjid Nabawi in Medina Munawara? The site of my Nabi, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. On the Musalla, Allah brings Jannat in front of him. What does he tell us? مَا تَقُولُونَ فِي هَذَا هَذَا مِنَ الْأَشْرَافِ Sahaba say, Ya Rasulullah, this man, this is so and so. This is VIP. Whole world looks up to him. هَذَا حَرِيٌ إِنْ خَتَبَ أَنْ يُزَوَّجْ If he proposes for anyone's daughter, guaranteed acceptance. In our language, the man will read two rakat salah. Shukar. Such a great proposal came. 
financial problem sorted out. My daughter is going to be VIP, tip top. In Shaffa and Yushaffa, if he intercedes on behalf of someone, Ya Rasulullah, guaranteed acceptance. They are going to accept whatever intercession he makes. His word carries weight. What does my Nabi respond? What does my Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Don't be deceived. Don't judge the book by its cover. Don't be carried away by the superficial things of this world. My Nabi says, Hada, Hada, Khairun, Min Mil Il Ard, Min Hada. This first person, you wrote him off, not literal translation, analysis of the hadith. The first person who you didn't take seriously, you wrote him off, oh my sahaba, if he is put on one turn of the scale, and the second, Sharif, VIP, tip top, the whole world population is made like him, and put on the other side, from darbar risalat Muhammadur Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, this one person will outweigh the entire world. This one person will, why? Because of what is inside. What is failure? What is failure? Wa the one who disobeyed Allah and his Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. فَمَنْ خَفَّتْ مَوَازِينُ فَأُولَٰئِكَ الَّذِينَ خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ فِي جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدُونَ The one who when he left the world, his scale of deeds was very light. His scale of deeds were very light. Allah says, خَسِرُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ he is in loss. Fi jahannam khalidun. In jahannam forever and ever. Qul. Look at this verse of the Quran. Allah sums it up for us in this verse. Qul. Tell them. Inna al-khasirin. Alladheena khasiru anfusahum wa ahlihim yawm al-qiyamah. Tell them, my Nabi, who are the losers? Who are the damned ones? Who are the abject failures? Who should you be looking down upon? Alladheena khasiru anfusahum wa ahlihim. Yawm al-qiyamah. They are those who put themselves and their families into loss on the day of judgment. Allah, ذَلِكَ هُوَ الْخُسْرَانُ الْمُبِينَ Listen, this is the great loss. لَهُمْ مِنْ فَوْقِهِمْ ذُلَلٌ مِنَ النَّارِ وَمِنْ تَحْتِهِمْ ذُلَلٌ From above their heads will be fire. From beneath their feet will be fire. إِذِ الْأَغْلَالُ فِي عَنَاقِهِمْ وَالسَّلَاسِلْ يُسْحَبُونَ فِي الْحَمِيمِ ثُمَّ فِي النَّارِ يُسْجَرُونَ Naran ahata bihim suradikuha, their rooms will be of fire. Sarabiluhum min katiran, their pants will be of fire. Tagsha wujuhahumun nar, their faces will be inflamed with fire. Fire in every direction. Allah, thalika huwa al khusranul mubin. This is the true loss. Not what society is telling you. Not what the schools and universities are telling you. Not what the media is telling you. This is Quran. This is the kalam of my Allah. This is La Rayba Fi. There can be no doubt in this. Kitabun Uhkimat Ayatuhu Thumma Fussilat Milladun Hakimin Khabir. La mubaddila li kalimati. This kalam will never change. Wa bil haqqi anzalna. Wa bil haqqi nazal. It is the absolute truth. Tammat kalimatu rabbika. Sidqan wa adala. It is the final word in sachai. In, 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 in being the truth. And in justice. In balance. This is the final word. Why this is the kalam of Allah. And what is the knowledge of Allah. Alimul ghaybi wa shahada. Alimul ghaybi wa shahada. Alimun bidhati sudur. Wa ma taskutu mi warakatin illa ya'lamuha. Wala habbatin fi dhulumatil ard. Wala ratbi wala yabis. Illa fi kitabim mubin. No leaf falls. My Rabb knows about it. No droplet of rainwater falls. My Rabb knows about it. The depths of the oceans. The height of the earth. The heavens the earth, whatever enters this earth, whatever comes out of it, everything is in the knowledge of my Allah. My Allah's knowledge is complete. It is perfect. We cannot even imagine the knowledge of Allah. This Quran, this Quran is the kalam of my Allah. It is the speech of my Allah. Doubt this Quran at your peril. Today, in any language, in any language to create weight, to create vehemence, if people are not convinced about something, you want to drum it into the heads, by more than 99% of society is running behind this dunya. This idea, this idea that make Allah happy is your goal, we don't even want to hear about it. 
degrees, position, wealth, big bank balance, future financial planning. This is success. Hey, bye. Make Allah happy. Why are you running behind this dunya? This temporary is going to come to an end. We don't want to hear about it. This idea being put forward. Make the streets good. Make the lighting good. Sort out service amenities. This is a goal. This is an achievement. Clean your inside. Clean your inside. Sort out your inside. That is not even considered to be a goal. Everything outside superficially must be clean and shining. What about your inside? What about your inside? Please the whole world. Have you pleased Allah? This concern is not there. So Quran comes forward. Quran comes forward. This kalam is haq. وَمَنْ أَصْدَقُ مِنَ اللَّهِ قِيلَ In normal conversation. This is not relevant to Quran. In normal conversation, when we want to put emphasis on what we are saying, we take qasam and oath. Allah out of His mercy, not necessary. Allah out of His mercy in Quran also. Baat mein wazan peyda karne ke liye. To create weight, to convince you of something. Allah takes qasam in Quran also. Some places... Allah takes one qasam. More qasams, greater the weight, greater the prominence, greater the importance. Some places Allah takes one qasam, wal asr, one qasam. Some places two qasams together, wal duha, wal layli idha saja. Some places three qasams together, wal layli idha yagsha, wal nahari idha tajalla, wa ma khalaqat dhakara wal untha. One place in the Quran, Allah takes four qasams together. وَالسَّمَاءِ ذَاتِ الْبُرُوجِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْمَوْعُودِ وَشَاهِدِ وَمَشْهُودِ One place in the Quran, Allah takes five, five qasams together. وَالْفَجْرِ وَلَيَالِ نَعَشَرِ وَالشَّفْعِ وَالْوَتْرِ وَالْلَيْلِ إِذَا يَسْرِ There is one surah in the Quran. There is one surah in the Quran. This is Quran, this is Haq. To doubt one letter of it is Kufr. May Allah, I am reiterating, does not need to take Qasam. Yet one place in the Quran, Allah takes 11 Qasams together. 11 Qasams in one place. One interpretation, 7. But for the sake of ulama, I am mentioning it. If the wow is considered... As not atifa, as not conjunction, but wa of qasimiyah, then eleven qasams. What qasams? Wa shams. By the oath of the sun, wa duhaha, and its light. Wa qamar idha talaha. By the oath of the moon, as it follows the sun. Day follow, night follows day. Wa shamsi wa duhaha. Wa qamar idha talaha. Wa nahari idha jallaha. By the oath of the day as it lights up. وَاللَّيْلِ إِذَا يَغْشَاهَا By the oath of the night as its darkness envelops. وَالسَّمَا By the oath of the skies. وَمَا بَنَاهَا And that Allah who erected the skies. وَالْأَرْض By the oath of the earth. وَمَا تَحَاهَا And that Allah who stretched out this earth. By the oath of the sun. By the oath of the moon, by the oath of the day, by the oath of the night, by the oath of the heavens, by the oath of the earth, by the oath of that Allah who erected the heavens, by the oath of that Allah who stretched out this earth. What weighty qasams and oath my Allah is taking. And then Allah's extreme love, extreme compassion. Wanafs. Like you say in Urdu, Tere Jaan ki qasam. Oh humanity, oh my banda, if you still don't want to believe, I am taking qasam on your jaan. Wa nafs, wa ma sawaha. And that Allah who created you, who balanced you, who brought you into existence. Eleven. Then two, qad. Like another hammer, another emphasis. Qad aflaha. مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا اے میرے بندے او creation of humanity come out of this deception of that which is superficial انسان کے قیمت اندر کے سنمایہ سے نہیں بنتے ہیں انسان کے قیمت باہر کے سنمایہ سے نہیں بنتے ہیں under ke sarmaya se bante hai the value of this human being whether you are riding a rickshaw whether you don't have a roof over your head or whether you are living in a palace that is not your success or failure has nothing to do with that 11 qasams and Allah says qad aflaha man zakkaha without a doubt he has succeeded who has purified his soul 
purified his heart, whose inside is purified. وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ Purified how? With correct belief, with obedience to Allah, with making Allah the goal, making Allah the goal. وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّهَا Dassa comes from the word Dassasa, who has tarnished this, who has made this ugly, who has Dirt inside by looking at haram, listening to haram, incorrect beliefs, a life running behind the glitter and glamour of this dunya. Qad khaba man dasaha. He has failed. He is the loser. He is in desecration. He is in destruction. Who has filtered or dirtied his inside? قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَكَّاهَا وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا My Nabi said, وَإِنَّ فِي الْجَسَدِ لَمُدْغَى In this body there is a piece of flesh. إِذَا صَلُحَدْ صَلُحَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّ وَإِذَا فَسَدَدْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّ Correct this piece of flesh. Salah of it first. Correct the yaqeen, the conviction. لا إله إلا الله The goal and objective is to become Allah. Break down the idols of غيرullah. Connect this heart with Allah. Purify this heart with Allah. Purify this heart by staying away from haram. By staying away from the disobedience of Allah. My Nabi says if this heart is correct, the whole body will be correct. وَإِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّ If there is fasad, fasad of yaqeen, fasad of conviction, fasad of action, the nasad of guna and sins, failure to make tawbah, إِذَا فَسَدَتْ فَسَدَ الْجَسَدُ كُلُّ He says there will be fasad in the entire body. And then three times my Nabi reiterated, Allah wa hiya al-qalb, Allah wa hiya al-qalb, Allah wa hiya al-qalb. Listen, it is the heart, it is the heart, it is the heart. Insan ke qeemat andar ke sarmaya se bante hai. Your value in Allah's court will have nothing to do with what is external, what is inside. Connect yourself with the masjid, connect yourself with Allah's ta'alluq, connect yourself with those a'mal that will bring Allah closer to you. Connect yourself with correct yaqeen and conviction. Stay away from the filth of that TV. Stay away from the filth of that zulmat that has entered the homes of the ummah. Stray away from this filth of nakedness, of, of shamelessness. Or stay away from the filth of incorrect earnings, of riba, of lies, of treachery. This is zulmat, this is darkness, this is destroying the inside. Make Allah the goal. Make Allah the goal. وَرِذْوَانٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ أَكْبَرٌ There is no greater falah, there is no greater success than my Allah becoming happy with me. Allah give us tawfiq wa